Hello friends, this is Kalpesh Satasya. Today we are going to learn how to create minimal web API with the ASP.NET Core 6.0. So you think about what is the minimal web API. So let's, we can check with the example what we have given in ASP.NET 6.0 with the minimal web API. Let's deep dive with this, create the projects and we'll see what we have with the minimal web API. I have opened the Visual Studio 2022 and we are going to create a project. So let's click on the create new project and there is a many templates given. So we can choose the web API template here. If you scroll it and you will see the ASP.NET Core web API. Now we can click on the next button. You can give your choice name. I can give this ASP.NET web API. Okay, you can give your choice name and location. I click on the next. Okay, we can use the .NET 6.0 and you we have the HTTPS configuration. Then you can see there are two checkbox. One is use controls. If unchecked, it uses minimal API. So I'm going to uncheck it. And if we have a uh, click enable open API support, that means Swagger is installed and it's ready to use. So we can now click on the create. Okay. So here we go. Now we have able to program.cs file and you will see that we have select the API for the Swagger. So it's Swagger is inbuilt there. It's meant that is inbuilt with the templates and you can see the Swagger UI using the development mode. Okay. And one thing you have noticed, we don't have the controller here, right? Otherwise in the web API, there is a controller is used for the routing and everything, but we don't have the controller in minimal web API. So how it works, let's check. If you see, this is the web API, it's a uh, weather forecast. And that is the, with the name is the get weather forecast. If you related with this controller, then we can think about like that where this is the, our action get weather forecast and weather forecast is our routing. So let's run this project first and check it into the swagger. Click over here. Okay. After the project run, you will see that we have the, the swagger is open and weather forecast is this URL. If we can try it, it's executed and we get the beautiful result in a JSON format, right? So that means our project is working, our API is working, whatever we have given in this uh, default template given by the Microsoft, right? Now we can try to add the APIs in our code. So how we can do that? Uh, let's do that, this copy, okay? And I'm just chain this here. Instead of weather, I'm just test API, okay? And here definitely we have to change the name. Otherwise there is a two name with the same action. So we are also going to change here the test API or you can just test method, whatever we want to prefer it. I just have our routing is test API and our action is the test method, right? With the same result because we have the same code in the bo both the, the business logic inside that. So I'm going to run it again. And now we can see there, there will be a two methods in the swagger. One is the web forecast, weather forecast, and second one is the test API. So if I'm going to click here, hit out, and let me put the breakpoint so we can figure it out. Okay, this API is going to be executed. I'm trying to execute it, bingo. You see that here is hitting this point. That means breakpoint is hitting. That means our routing is working fine and the API is going to be work and we give the results okay so yeah you can see that the same results we have given in the both the api because we have the same business logic so the same beautiful json result we have seen here right so hope you guys you like this new features provided by sp.net core 6.0 by microsoft and hope you like this video please subscribe my channel if you are new into the channel and please share my video thank you guys